Math Club and today we're going to talk all about Business Math. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So let's start. First, we're going to encounter this verse. First is the Mark On, or it is denoted by Amsa O. Mark On is the original price. Second is the Mark Up, or the Amsa View. It is the amount added to the original price. Next is the Markdown or M sub D. It is the amount sub sub subtracted to the original price and last is the rate. Rate is the ratio or percentage of the Markdown or Markup. First, let's have an example. A bicycle spare parts shop pays its supplier 5,000 pesos for a bicycle bill. Then sells it to a biker at 5,500 pesos. How much is the markup and the markup rate? First, we're going to solve for the markup. Markup, markup is the formula of selling price minus MO. So in this problem, our selling price is 5,500 pesos. Our mark on or our original price is 5,000 pesos. So our, our mark up would be 500 pesos. What if we're gonna find the selling price? What if in this in this problem selling price is not it's not given? The formula for, for selling price is mark on plus mark off. Mark on in this problem is 5,000 pesos and our mark up there is 500 pesos and our selling price is 5,500. Next, what if in this, give, in this problem, mark on is not given but selling price and mark up is the given. Selling price is 5,500 pesos minus our mark off, which is 500. Then our mark on, or our original price, would be 5,000 pesos. Formula for mark off is selling price minus mark on. For the selling price, mark on plus mark off. And for the mark on, selling price minus mark off. So in this problem, we're going to find the mark off rate. Earlier, we saw that our mark off is 500 pesos. Mark off rate has the formula of mark off divided by mark on times 100. Our mark up was 500 pesos and our mark on is 5,000 times 100. So our mark up rate is 10%. Our mark up is 500, our mark on is 5,000 times 100. 500 divided by 5,000 would be 0.10 times 100. So our rate in this problem would be 10%. Our markup rate, rather. Next example. A bicycle spare parts shop regularly sells a bicycle wheel for 5,500 pesos and it's marked down to 5,000 pesos. How much is the markdown and the markdown rate? Our markdown has the formula of mark on minus the selling price. So in this example, markdown is equals to mark our original price is 5,500 pesos minus our selling price which is 5,000 pesos. So our markdown is 500 pesos. So what if in this example we're not giving the selling we're not given the selling price? We're just given only the mark. The formula for the selling price is mark on minus mark down. Our mark on is 5,500 pesos. And our mark down is 500 pesos. That will give us the 
the selling price as 5,000 pesos. Next, what if in this example we are not given the original price or the mark on? Original price has the formula of selling price minus plus brother, the mark down. Selling price is 5,000 pesos plus the Mark that of 500 pesos. Our original price would be 5,500 pesos. So next, we're going to identify the rate of in this problem. Rate has the rate for markdown has the formula of markdown divided by mark on times 100. This is just the same on in the this is just the same formula in the markup rate. It's just that the numerator here is what is your markdown price and in the markup it's your markup price is the numerator. So your markdown is 500 pesos divided by your mark on which is 5,500 pesos times 100. So we have one for one point eleven times one hundred will give us eleven percent. So our our rate in this problem is eleven percent. So what if we were given the rate and in the problem and we're gonna find the mark up in the side. Price. The markup, if, if, if the rate is given as the formula of mark on times rate. So our mark up, our mark on in this problem is 5,500 pesos times the rate of 0.25 because if, if 25 percent is derived in this cost, you have to move two places backward. So the answer would be 1,375. This is your markup if the rate is given. So next, we're going to find the selling price. Selling price if the rate is given is the formula of mark on times 1 plus R. Since this is mark up, it is 1 plus R. Our mark on is 5,500 times 1 plus 0.25 So 5,500 times 1.25 is 6,875 So this is our selling price So we're done with the we're done solving the markup if rate is given. Now we're gonna solve for markdown and the selling price if the rate is given. Markdown if rate is given has the formula of mark on times rate. It's just the same in markup. Five thousand five hundred times point twenty or this could just be point two. So our markdown is one thousand one hundred pesos. Next, we're gonna find for the selling price. Selling price is a formula of mark on times one minus R. It's now sub subtraction because it's marked down. 5,500 is our mark on times 1 minus 0.20. So in this problem, our selling price is 4,400 pesos. 
So guys, all in all, I have written down all the formulas that let's connect it in this topic. First, the formulas under markup. Markup is equals to selling price minus the mark on or the original price. Selling price is equals to mark up plus the mark on. Mark on is equals to selling price minus mark up. And the markup rate, markup rate is equal to mark up divided by mark on times 100. And if the rate is given in a problem and you're going to solve for the mark up, mark up is equal to mark on times rate. And the selling price, the formula of the selling price if the rate is given is mark on times 1 plus R. Next, the formulas for markdown. Markdown has the formula of mark on minus selling price. Selling price is equals to mark on minus markdown. Next is the mark on is equals to selling price plus markdown. And if we're going to find for the markdown rate, it's markdown divided by mark on times 100. And if the rate is given and you're going to find for the markdown. Markdown is equals to mark on times rate. And the selling price is equals to mark on times 1 minus R. Take note that if rate is given in mark on, it's always 1 plus R. And in markdown, it's 1 minus R. 